Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Peter Obi has clear air on viral photo with indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Elpa, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, a person of Peter Gregory Obi has disowned a viral photo showing him with the Finland-based Biafra dictator, Simon Elpa. Simon Elpa, a Nigerian who resides in Finland, has been calling for a seat at home in the southeast to protest the continuous detention of Mazi Onindu and Ndokanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. In the viral image, co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement and supporter of Anambra State Governor, Aisha Yusuf is seen in the background. The Peter Obi Media it will be that media house in a statement sent by Dino Onifadi on Thursday said the picture was photoshopped from one of Peter Obi took with a supporter on Virgin Atlantic aircraft in July 21. The statement reads Obi Dati Media Office notes that the scenario is exactly what played out in the photoshopped picture of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in person of Peter Gregory Obi. So supposedly standing with the Finland-based irritant Biafra agitator Simon Elpa, all in a desperate move to drag Peter Greg Obi's name into disrepute by linking him with the ugly story that Simon Elpa has become in Nigeria. For clarity, the picture was taken by Peter Greg Obi standing with an admirer on an Virgin Atlantic flight on Friday, July 21, 2023. In trying to authenticate this filthy and disgustingly dirty act, they inserted the picture of Aisha Yusuf behind them. The memory may be short to forget that Peter Greg Obi was the first to describe the six atom things as an act being engineered and bred by a criminal that the system has refused to squarely tackle. Now that the menace of this crime is becoming manifest even to attract views of the nation parliament, it may be necessary to critically study the handling of this crime. It has been reported that the presidential candidate for the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, has taken a picture with the self-acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Simon Elpa. Simon Elpa, who is a Finnish lawyer and political activist and also a former athlete, he is one of the current leaders of the Biafra independence movement. He is designated Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile Organization. Simon Elpa, who was born on the 21st of March 1985 in Oahu local government area of Ebony State in Nigeria. He won a silver medal for Nigeria in 100 meters in the 2003 African Junior Athletic Championship in Cameroon. Simon Elpa has lived in Lati, Finland since 2007. He is a member of the National Coalition Party of Finland and was a candidate of the 2022 Finnish county elections. Simon Elpa, after completing his high school education, enrolled at Abed Skritti University to pursue a master's degree in law. He later attended ABMS Education Group Switzerland, where he received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the field of business law. He also went to Kenyon College for additional studies. On the 25th of May 2023, at the African Day celebration in Helsinki, Finland, the Universal, the Universal Peace Federation awarded Simon Elpa Ambassador for Peace. According to reports, Simon Elpa activism started to gather mainstream attention in February 2023. Finland was called to investigate his activities and to determine if his alleged incitement fuels the legal definition for incitement against ethnic groups. The local Akokumo's party in Lathi stated that they have started an internal investigation on these claims. Oji Anya Odim, representing the Association of Igbo Union in Finland, stated that stated in the same interview that it should stop inciting hatred and provoking 
Some of EPA does not represent the Igbo people of Finland. The Nigerian government has also demanded Finland to stop Simon EPA activities. Many live in fear in, in the Federal Republic of Nigeria of EPA. While Simon EPA has issued the atom order evolving the coming, the coming Nigerian election, many in Enugu seem to eat this. Soon, however, they would go despite the state atom orders. In late February, it was reported that Simon Epa is being suspected of having raised funds in, the, in an illegal manner by the Finnish National Bureau of Investigation. Simon Epa was made a lead broadcaster for Radio Biafra associated with a separatist organization, Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP, after the arrest of political activist Mazi Oindunam de Kano. However, Simon Epa was not allowed to broadcast on the radio citing violation of the rules of the organization. As of 2023, he has been called the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. The Nigerian, the Nigerian Daily Post has, has in different articles referred to him as Prime Minister and self-acclaimed Prime Minister. Someone else stated in 2023 that Biafra Republic government in exile is registered and approved and legal and agents of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should take note of that. In December 2022, Samuel Epa ordered five basic atom civil disobedience in southeast and part of the part of the South South Nigeria, Biafra, from the 9th of to the 9th to the 14th of December. On the 14th of June 2023, Samuel Epa announced a week-long sit atom from the 3rd of July to the 10th of July 2023. It has been reported that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party was seen with Simon Epa. Taking Nigerian's opinion, Jim Mofata said he, he who kills with sword will not like the sword to pass over his head. Peter Obi and his users movement will receive a full will receive in full both year and day after all damages, defamatory, sentimental, emotional derogatory done to our presence, as she was to noble during and after the election. Fela said Peter Obi is behind all the atrocities happening in the southeast. Sponsoring the indigenous people of Biafra, the Eastern Security Network, and UGM, all in the name of politics that he wants to rule the Federal Republic of Nigeria by all means. Justice said, Breeze don't blow. Finally, Obi Diot is a terrorist. He is the sponsor of terrorism in the Southeast. He should join Mazi Oindu in Amdekano in the five star John John prison. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment, comment section below and I'll see you on the next news as I'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.